Hello, Watermark family. Uh, welcome to the fourth candle of Advent. Lighting a candle is a simple yet profound act. It is a testimony to the power of light over darkness. As we light this fourth candle of Advent, we continue our journey to the Christmas wreath. The fourth candle of Advent is called the love candle. As we anticipate Christmas, let us remember our loving Savior, how he came once as a baby, that the world through him might be saved and how he will return in glory. The short verse from Paul's letter to the Romans in chapter 5, verse 8, gives us an insight into the love of God. What's God's love like? How does God love? Who does God love anyway? Does he love me? There are some verses in the Bible that hold more power than a nuclear bomb. This is one of those verses. These 18 words are some of the most glorious in the whole truth in the whole entire Bible. If you're wondering about the love of God, this verse explains it. What Jesus did to save us is the most loving action that has ever taken place in the universe. What took place on the cross was once in a history type of event. It has happened, but the effects of it are continually ongoing. It doesn't just change history. History was created for it. It didn't just accomplish something in the past, but has power to change the future. There's nothing like it, but let us not lose the wonder of it. Let us not lose the taste of the beauty in the hideous death of Christ on our behalf. Let us not lose the meaning of the cross. Let it be always treasured by our hearts. We must fight against losing the, the truth of this verse, even though the apex of all history has already happened. And we have seen the love of God for us on the scale that should continually blow us away. My prayer for that, for this Advent, is that at this single event, one of us will walk away fully convinced that God loves us. You are so loved by Him that God was willing to nail His own Son to a cross to gain you back. Truly, the way to salvation is not in what we do, but in whom we trust. By far, this is the most important story the world has ever known. The scale of this sacrifice is still being weighed today. In fact, for all eternity, we will see that the cost and the price do not seem to balance, but there's glory in this gospel story that fills up the throne room of heaven and shoots joy down to our hearts like lightning. This is a surprising gospel in Isaiah 53.10 and Romans 5.8 explains this surprising gospel plan, revealing how God shows his love to us in a surprising way to a surprising people and at a surprising cost. Will you join me this Sunday? as we not only light up the fourth candle of Advent, the love candle, but also the white candle that sits in the middle of the Advent of wreath called the Christ candle. May God bless you, and I will see you tomorrow.